you at another really frustrating 90 minutes and a 3-1 defeat. Assess that game for us, please. I think when you get two teams like yourselves and Dundee at the moment playing you know, with a lack of confidence, um, certainly results suggest that, then you want to get a foothold in the game. You know, and that's what we talked about, getting a good start and you know, get, getting at them if we could. And then within two minutes, we've lost the goal. And, you know, f for the large parts after that, you could see a lot of confidence drain out of players. Um, you know, there's no pit magic pill or magic formula for that. Um, it's just you know, believing that things will turn round and, you know, individuals taking the game by the scruff of the neck. But I think when you're going through a tough period individually and collectively, it can be difficult. Um, I, I, I was disappointed with it. Obviously, the result, but the, the way we defended today, I thought we were soft. I thought, you know, at times I went through was like knife through butter. Um, you know, and when you're not creating a great deal of chances, although I thought today we we were far better in that area. Um, you know, little things. You know, we, you know, Rams has had a, a shot knocked off the line from a corner, and you just want a goal there. But when it gets to two and a half time, you come in, you change things around, and you look for a, um, you know, a bit of a, a real goal, and then we lose another really soft goal. Um, so that's. That's as much as anything is the biggest disappointment. Um, how easy we were at times to, to be cut through. You bemoaned in recent weeks individual mistakes. The first one, I think we tried to play the guy, the, the player offside, it doesn't happen, they score. The second one, I think Steve, Steve McManus slips on, on the turf and they go in. Is that the way it goes when, when you're down there? Well, you can keep saying that, but you know, we, we, we all in all, from everybody, we need more. Um, and it's, again, I'll say it again, it was, certainly wasn't a lack of effort or a, you know, you know, energy. You know, when it goes three 0 we get a goal. We 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 have a we have a little bit of a go, and you know, things um, we we just can't get that second goal. But the you know, bottom line is, if you're not playing well uh, and things aren't going well, then you've just got to make sure you're strong defensively, and you can give yourself a platform to get a nil nil or a one nil and start building from there. I mean, it, that that was one thing uh, prior to this this run we've gone on. Better than last year, we were certainly defended better than last year. We haven't been creating as many goals. We've certainly scored, you know, the goal falls columns just not like us at all. You know, we, we're far better than that normally. Um, but defensively, you know, you got Celtic Park as I say, and putting a really strong performance there. And we've not been. And, and even then, when you go to Hamilton, and you know, you, I think their results proved. You know, we went there 120 minutes of football, nil nil, get beat on penalties. So you're thinking defensively, we, we're doing something right. And then the, the last three games. You know that's what ten goals were shipped. And, what, 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 sorry, what would you put that down to? Well, obviously a couple against Hamilton were individual errors. Yep. Um, last week uh, again, communication, defending's not just about being big and strong and good in tackle. It's about organisation, communication, and uh, you know being aware, really awareness. And I felt today, you know, we, we were and that and that. The confidence just doesn't affect um, the forward players like shooting at goal or crossing. It can affect defenders at times as well. Um, you've got to be focused all the time. And, and we weren't again. As I say, when we're looking for a good start, we got the exact opposite and uh, you know, it, was, it, was, it wasn't good enough. It's frustrating as well, though, because you talk about confidence, but there's lots of experienced guys out there. Even Zane, the youngest of the defenders, and O'Brien played lots of games at you know a high level. And you know, it comes down to things like communication. Does that just completely breed from confidence? I don't know. I've asked the boys the same, you know, and you're left scratching your head. That, as I said today, um, we work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on a defensive play, and then go and let you know Ains with Sutton, Vigas. Yama, who again I thought was good for us, and Zane going forward, which is, is that's his best part of his game. And I felt first half he was our biggest threat. Um, and you know we weren't going to bring him off, but he's been away and he's had three games away, and he, he cramps up near the end when we were going to take another centre half off and have a real goal for it. But unfortunately, he cramped up and uh, he had to come off. But yeah, listen, it doesn't matter, young, old, experienced, inexperienced. Um, when you're lacking in confidence, you've just you've just got to listen. You've just got to dig deep and. And, and just believe next time you go out there as an individual um, that your touch will be better or you know your passing will be better or your defending will be better. Um, for whatever you do on training ground, you can, you've got to try to replicate. But when you come out on a park, you know, you know, it's um, you can do all the work you want. You know, on Monday to Friday, it's what boils down to what goes on on a Saturday that counts. And in this moment in time, we're not producing performances to get results. It was interesting, I think you were noted by your absence at the, from the touchline in the first half. You decided to watch the game from the back of the stand. Mm. What, was your, what was your thoughts behind that, that first half you know, vantage point? Yeah, well, obviously two and a half minutes into the game and they've scored a goal. I'm thinking, you know, 
should be down there. But no, I, I, I knew they would come and sort of play the diamond shape. And I just, sometimes when you're down at this level, you don't see things as clearly until you watch it again. And um, But listen, uh, and I said to him before the game, all right, you've got to be aware of what shape and tactics and formations. But sometimes football's about just going and doing it, being better than your man, taking your opportunities when they come, defending well as a group, as an org. You want to be organised, you need to know your shape and that. But sometimes football can be about, you know, can you run harder than your opponent? Can you jump higher? Can you challenge stronger? Um, but I'll go back to, you know, I think... Listen, a lot had to do with the start of the game. And when you 1-0 down, not only when you're locking in conference, it, it, it deflates you. It gives them a massive lift as well. Because um, I even thought at 3-1, it looked about them and, you know, they were a bit edgy if we could have, you know, capitalised a bit more. Um, but in the end, we, we, we couldn't. Congratulations, Shep. Cheers.